So I have just finished a celebration of the Night of Truth and Reconciliation of Women and I'm so hyped up about that that I, I wanna share about my very first journey. I should start off by saying that um, I never drank or smoked or did drugs. I'm mean, gonna say never is too extreme a word, but um, it was something I just knew early on that I would be a person who would do things to extremes. So I was just like, I'm not gonna do it. And it, I think I might have you know, tried something. I was just like, no, nah, it wasn't anything I needed. And I also didn't ever like not being in reality because growing up with a mentally ill parent, holding on to reality was so hard that being in altered states was, was terrifying to me. And the first time I was ever high, I was married. I was like 21. And uh, it was the first time I ever did pot and I got very paranoid and I thought I would never be normal again. And not only would I never be normal again, I would never know what normal was again. So I was not one who was willing to try any drugs. And then a year ago, uh, a colleague asked me to be in a play that was gonna require something very, very difficult for me, something I had never done before. I was willing to do it and they, um, and, and I, I knew it was gonna challenge me and I was gonna have to find a, a, a strength inside of me to do this role. And they suggested that I try um, an entheogen called kana, which is a plant, it's a legal plant. And I was terrified. I thought, oh my God, you do this drug, you may become mentally ill, you may die. Um, that's really just my attitude about drugs. They just terrified me. And, but I had so much respect and trust in this person. I just thought, well, if I'm gonna do it, I, I have to be willing to die. And um, I, I just felt like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try. So um, I read a lot of, as much as I could about it beforehand and I asked people about Kana and very few people had ever heard of it. I couldn't find that much about it on the internet. Um, and what I was told was to not eat um, anything I think after 12 the morning of and then um, when we arrived in the country uh, we didn't eat we um, created a ceremony, we built a fire, we set intentions, and then we uh, each tasted the medicine. Uh, the medicine, I think it was in a, a capsule form and it was like these little crystals. Um, about 30 minutes into it, I started to feel a bit altered. One of my friends wanted to go outside. Uh, I happen to love snakes. I'm scared of bugs, but snakes I love. And there was a snake stencil on my friend's wall. And when we went outside to sit in front of uh, like a water feature, uh, I was just sitting there feeling very, very mellow. And there was a snake coiled on the ground in front of me, which felt like a sign that my totem was there. And, uh, and then I got this feeling that my family of trees was somewhere on this person's acreage, which was a lot of land that crossed a highway. And I had never been to their home before. I had never been on their land before. But I have a relationship with trees. I can find trees in the dead of night in various places in the world. I just feel a deep connection with trees. Like I was a tree, I'm gonna be a tree. They're family to me. I've brought in the new year with copses of trees that feel like my family. And as I was sitting there in front of this coiled snake, I got this feeling that I needed to go visit my family of trees and I just go off traipsing across the highway into the forest and my friends follow after me. And sure enough, not far in, I see this group of trees and I began to hug them and they just, it was like it was my family and I, I sat down with them and I started um, singing Native American songs. 
and there was a puppy with us who was a rescue puppy who had been pretty silent for the few weeks that they had had him. And this puppy started singing with me. And me and this puppy were singing. It was this incredible thing. Like, it just felt profound. The puppy is singing and I'm singing. And my friends are look, looking at each other like, this puppy doesn't even make sound. And, and then I started feeling this, like, like, like there was black tar or some kind of dragon that needed to come out of me. And about that time, the, the puppy started looking out side of the circle of trees and it started barking at something as if it knew there was something there and it was trying to protect us from it. And at that time, I, I could feel this like tar, toxicity, a dragon wanting to come out of me. And um, something inside of me said, your friends can't handle this with you. And about that time, they decided they wanted to go back from the woods. And so we walked back to the from the woods and we danced outside and we ran around outside. And then uh, we went in and sat by the fire and the puppy just humped me all night long for about three hours. This little poor little puppy, probably never done anything in his life, poor little puppy humped me wherever it could hump me for three continuous hours. It was like, it was connecting with me, whether my Kundalini energy was rising, I don't know what it was. And I'm always able to see, like I just see, I don't really know how to describe it any other ways, I just see. And that's really usually a gift to strangers because most people want to be seen. And so strangers, often share stories with me that they've never shared with anyone and people just tell me the most intimate things and I'm just able to listen and I was able to see things in my friends some of which I couldn't speak and wouldn't speak but you know within the next day those things that I was seeing they spoke and so I knew they were sincere they had told me that the medicine would continue to work um, and my, I experienced it as a clarity. It wasn't like a high. I felt like my my brain got incredibly focused and I just could hear better and smell better and see better. And that carried on for several days. And I had a, a dream. Um, I was in a, a room full of people and um, and I wanted to leave the room and take some women with me, but then some men came in with some young women and I could tell that their motives were bad. And so I didn't want any part of it and I left the room and I began running away and people began chasing me down a very narrow corridor. And at one point I looked back and these demons were chasing me, these red demons were chasing me down this this corridor and uh, I know there was another point at which I, I ran out and there were, I got in a car and there were demons all around the car and we were driving off and the car came to a dead end and that's when I got out and ran and the red demons started chasing me. And at one point I just turned around and I grabbed one of the red demons by the mouth and I just ripped it open that way. And it just came into my mind, oh, you're ready to face your demons. And I thought, wow, I'm ready to face my demons. And then I just had this sense of clarity that plants were my medicine and that this medical condition I had that was, I was being told was life-threatening, that maybe these medicines could help me. And since many of these medicines are not uh, legal, uh, you can't go asking for them. So I just began to put out energetically into the world that that's what I wanted, that I wanted to try to heal myself through plant medicines or fungi medicines or animal medicines, but in a, in a homeopathic way to find the medicines that could, could help heal me. Uh, so that was my first journey, uh, Kana. And the friends who I had done it with and I kind of had a falling out, so I didn't have access to them and that medicine anymore. And I was just, uh, you know, energetically saying to the world, I want to try medicines. And uh, I had heard of ayahuasca. 
uh, my first researching of medicines brought up this thing called combo, which is the Brazilian green tree frog medicine. And uh, yeah, kana was my first medicine. I still have never gotten to just do pure kana again. I would like to have that experience, but I don't, I don't have access. For whatever reason, my universe did not bring kana back into my life. It brought combo and Aya and psilocybin and sassafras are the next medicines that uh, I began to journey with. And I will talk about my experiences on all of them on a subsequent video. Thank you for listening.